Welcome in, everybody, to another week of XFL Weekly. Uh, hitting you up with some XFL nonsense weekly. Uh, I'm I'm your host, Kyle Krajewski, joined by my other lovely co-host, uh, Zach Cole. What's up, man? What's going on, dude? How are you? Doing well, doing well. We are ooh, less than less than two weeks away from XFL action. Uh, mm-hmm. I think as the t- at the time of release, I think we're at ten days at kickoff. Uh, looking at next Saturday, and it's exciting. It's coming up. I'm pumped. Um, but once again, we are XFL Weekly, uh, primarily a podcast. Also catch us on YouTube uh, and tune in, listen, uh, hit that like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. You can find mm-hmm. us on Instagram and Twitter at XFL underscore weekly, uh, YouTube, XFL Weekly, and podcast platforms pretty much wherever you can listen to podcasts uh we are just xfl weekly uh this week we've got something interesting two interesting things i should say uh we're doing two drafts we are going to do first we're going to hit us up with uh basically players we're excited about uh Mm -hmm. think of this as a fantasy draft that's not a fantasy draft uh it's not necessarily we're drafting the player we think is going to perform the best but mostly players we're super excited to, to watch uh, this yeah. upcoming XFL season. Uh, and then after that, we're going to basically, we're going to draft XFL uniforms. Basically, if we were to kind of have our own divisions based on uh, just uniforms alone, what they, what those divisions would look like. Mm-hmm. So without further ado, let's get into it. Uh, players, players we're excited about. Um Zach, we'll have you. Do you want I'll to kick us off? Or you have to take... I... Okay. Well, I have a phone call coming. <laughs> All right. So while he's taking that phone call, ill-timed, I was going to hand it over to him. So it looks like I get the first overall pick. Um, lucky me. So I'm going to take quarterback, and he probably saw this coming. So he probably already crossed it off his off his pick, off his list. Uh, Jordan Tom. Starting quarterback or supposed starting quarterback for the D.C. Defenders. He's coming in basically back-to-back years of spring football. Uh, or I guess back to break year and then back uh, years where he showed up. He balled out uh, in XFL 2020. Uh, 2021 didn't see any spring football or any uh, any XFL act or any spring football action for Tamu. Uh, and then he came back for the USFL last year and was – one of the top quarterbacks. Uh, so he's fresh coming in, starting quarterback for my favorite team, uh, Jordan Tamu, uh, for the Dixie Defenders. And that's my guy. I think he's going to have a great year. And even if he doesn't, I'm excited to see how he plays. Sorry, Kyle. That was actually the president calling me. Um, actually, you know what? No, no I, I lied. It was Dwayne The Rock Johnson. He's saying, you guys got a great podcast going right here. Dwayne. <laughs> Fan of the show, thanks Big for, fan thanks for calling in. Maybe next time we'll get you on the pod to actually Might have to say to. something. But I, I appreciate you at least reaching out to one of us. Wayne, <laughs> thank you so much. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to take um, a, a quarterback as well here with, with my pick. I, at first, I loved your pick with Te'amu. Um, he's exciting. He's fun. He's Like you said, he's gonna he was – probably the MVP before the uh, previous XFL shut down. So uh, great PJ Walker. I completely, we completely forgot Walker, but he's the the definitive, but then it was the USFL Tom. Okay. Uh, That was his his league. Well, I'm going to stay in line with you here and, and I'm going to go with, I I guess maybe it's a a meme favorite, a fan favorite. I'm going to go with Van Dinucci and uh, he's, he's going to be my guy here. I I think he's just going to do some, some exciting stuff up in Seattle. I, I love that he's got – I'm not going to name drop, but he's got some some good wide receivers on his on his core there. And uh, I think that he's probably one of the most fresh, freshly recent NFL-level players, uh, especially at the quarterback position. Um, you know, you, we, we mentioned a couple guys on past weeks, and uh, there's another guy who I, I don't want to name drop again, uh, the quarterback for the Battle Hawks, who um, was also an M- NFL player. But Ben DiNucci was in the league. Uh, as recently as just this past season, and he might have even tried out for a couple times, a couple teams this year. So I think he's going to be fresh. I think he's going to be ready. Um, everything that I'm seeing coming out of Seattle seems like he's he's the man. Uh, I've seen I've seen all kinds of just goofy stuff on their on their uh, 
social media accounts with him. So I'm, I'm excited. I, I think Ben DiNucci is going to be fun to watch this year. Ben DiNucci, uh, man, he, he's an interesting fella. <laughs> I've been seeing a lot of him. Uh, Seattle's been doing really well kind of promoting their, their players. Yeah. Um, and he, he's a fun one to watch. Uh, speaking of fun one to watch in uh, Seattle, I'm taking taking the guy, Josh Gordon. Uh, um, man, oh, man. I <laughs> He was on, on, on the – just such a large path to be one of the best NFL player receivers. Um, he had that fantastic stretch of, I think the 2012 season and, or maybe it was 13 either way, man. Oh man, that, Oh, that stretch kind of like cemented Josh Gordon into my heart and into the heart of many other <laughs> football fans. Um, and because of that, I constantly want to watch more Josh Gordon. Uh, and since I can, with the XFL, he he's my number two pick. Um, he was really battling to be my number one pick, but man, oh man, Josh Gordon suiting up again. Let me see it. Um, we haven't seen him since he played. Uh, he played a little bit with the Titans last year uh, for their practice squad, and <laughs> um, and then Kansas City the year before. He, he's kind of made his rounds. Uh, we saw him a little bit in the fan controlled football league. Um, but now we get to see him back at, back in uh, back in Seattle um, after his stint with the Seahawks. So he knows the stadium quite well. Um, and with with your guy Ben Danucci, I think he's, he's going to have a great year. And following him on socials, he he's amped. He's excited to have another opportunity, and I love seeing it. I think that's a fantastic pick, Al, and and that's why I didn't name drop him. You know, I, I didn't I didn't <laughs> want to ruin the surprise. I wanted that to be all your uh, all your glory there. So I'm glad you picked him because uh, if you didn't, I was going to take him with my next pick. <laughs> so uh, I'm uh, I'm kind of tossed up here between between two different guys, and uh, I'm going back and forth, and I think I'm going to have to stay true to my to my own position here, and I'm going to go with uh, a, a tight end, and I'm going to go with. None other than Mr. Sal Canella, who is the tight end for the Arlington Renegades. He nice. um, he he played college football at Auburn, and he really wasn't anything special there, which is kind of interesting. He only racked up, I want to say, here, I can give you the exact stats. He only racked up 25 catches for 330 yards over three seasons when he was at LSU. Um, I mean, we see, you know, we see uh, college tight ends put that up in, in a week or two in, in at this rate. So, um, you know, he really wasn't a standout, but then he played in the USFL and he only played four games in the USFL and he still managed 18 catches for 215 yards. So it was almost, almost like he kind of came alive. Um, so, you know, you're taking the leading receiver or the leading tight end in the uh, USFL and we're taking him and transferring him over. He's now on the uh, Arlington Renegades. So I'm looking forward to him. Um, he was averaging about five or six catches a game and about 50 50, 60 yards a game. So I think that's a, that's a pretty high quality player. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm, I'm keeping an eye out for you, Sal. I'm excited. <laughs> Zach loves his tight ends. Um, end. Canal is in for a big year. So with that, my final pick, uh, going back to a previous team, taking running back Abram Smith. He was in, in the XFL draft for this upcoming year. He was the number one overall skill position pick. Um, drafted to the the DC Defenders, uh, and is very much in line to potentially be one of the best running backs in this in, in this league. Um, he was he was an All Conference running back uh, for Baylor when or just two years ago, um, and then kind of had a minor stint with the uh, with the Saints, um, kind of an undrafted signing, and didn't really make the regular season squad, but I mean, to kind of show up enough to be the number one skill position pick uh, is kind of huge and kind of puts him very much in line to, to Mm -hmm. be the guy. Um, So give me Abram Smith. I love the pick. He he was, he was the other one. I was, I was kind of going back and forth between there. So great pick. Great pick. Thank you. you. My next guy, I'm going to go with a guy who, uh, played for my Carolina Panthers briefly for a very, very brief stint. And uh, he's a wide receiver. His name is Charleston Rambo. Great name, first off. But he uh, played his college football at Oklahoma and then his senior year transferred to Miami, University of Miami. 
Um, and he was just absolutely electric everywhere he was. Um, when he was at Miami, his senior year, he racked up 79 catches, over 1,000 yards, seven touchdowns. Like, this guy was legit. He had uh, a, a couple games over 100 yards receiving, even went for 200 against Georgia Tech um, in, uh, let's see, week 10 of uh, his senior year here. So he's, he's electric. He's 6'1", pretty good size. He can move decently well. Um, and I really – he, once again, plays for the um, – Oh, I just lost it. I just completely lost it. Hold on a sec. Sorry. Charleston Rambo. <laughs> Orlando Guardians. I totally knew that. I'm sorry. It. He plays for the Orlando Guardians. Um, so I, I'm just looking forward to uh, watching him play. It's it's a different team. I feel like we don't we haven't talked a lot about the Guardians uh, on the show so far. So I, I'm looking forward to to seeing him ball out a little bit. Beautiful. And that'll be it for our our players we're excited to watch pick picks uh going down the list i had jordan taamu uh josh gordon and abram smith zach had himself a lovely lovely squad in ben Danucci, uh tight end sal canella and wide receiver charleston rambo mm-hmm. beautiful picks um and man oh man are I, ju- I guess in general we're just excited to see all of these guys play absolutely um, another 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 year of xfl uh making his way back um and then let's go. Let's flow into some uniform draft picks. Um, what do you think, Zach? Should we take all of them? Like, just do a four for four split? We don't I want think to leave we two should... off the table. You know what? No, I think we should leave two off the table. <laughs> we we gotta we gotta tell two of these teams to step their game up. So I, up I think we should go. Game. Yeah, yeah. I think we should go six. Let's do three and three again. What do you say? Three and three again. Let's do it. Uh, we're, right. we're gonna we're gonna end this draft and be like, no, you guys gotta step it up. Uh, come back go back to the drawing board you got two i'm calling weeks. the rock i'm telling him to, to <laughs> i'm calling him back <laughs> listen up my guy give these guys a new, <laughs> new uniform all right so i had the first overall pick uh while i go take a call now um you you, you can take your your pick well i'm gonna keep this pretty brief because i don't know how much we're gonna say about uh uniforms here but i think personally the easy 101 in this is going to be the Seattle Sea Dragons. Um, I, that, you know, the, the orange, the dragon on the helmet, the stripe down the middle of the helmet, everything is just beautiful about these uniforms. Um, I even love that the orange is a little bit modified on the pants of the home jerseys, the white jerseys. It's brighter. It kind of pops out a little more. Just love everything about them. Seattle Sea Dragons, my 101. I hope they give us a, uh, an all-orange game. Uh, that would be cool. At least one. I would like that. Year, one game this year, but I actually just got off the call off off a call with Ben Danucci. <laughs> um, he says now he's really going to ball out because not only did you draft him, but you drafted his team uniform. That's my um, guy right there. So he he's going to show up for you just because. Shout of out that. to that one season he played at Pitt. Hail to you, uh, Ben Danucci. <laughs> we love you. Ben Danucci, big fans, fans, <laughs> huge fans. Um, but I'll take I'll take the Houston Roughnecks. Uh, something about the way that these numbers on this uniform uh, just really stick out to me. Uh, they really do look like like the oil splatter, uh, and I really hope that's what they were going for, and it's not just a just a random chance. But no, knowing the XFL and how much intent and love that they put into these uniforms, I'm going. Yeah. I, I think it was purposeful. Uh, I also love the divided helmets, blue on one side, white, and then red. It's incredibly beautiful. Big fan. Uh, I think that is incredible use of colors um so yeah give me the roughnecks uh great way to design your uniforms oh i'm gonna bind here because i have i have three that i really really like and uh i'm hoping maybe you make my choice easy and you take one of them with your next pick otherwise i'm gonna feel i'm gonna be walking out of here feeling pretty bad about myself so i I think what i'm gonna go with for my uh for my next pick here is gonna be the arlington renegades Uh, i really love the uh it gives me Houston Oiler vibes is what I get from it with that baby blue and the red. Um, I especially yeah. love the the black jerseys. It reminds me of like a, I, I don't even know, I, I, like a, a phantom or something. I can't even really put my hand on it, but it, it just, I love the, the font they used for the numbers. I love the red lines through the numbers. I think everything about this is just really clean and crispy. And I think the dark helmets will be a good contrast too. That's a great one. I'm going to roll with, and this isn't a homer pick, but I'm rolling with the DC <laughs> Defenders. Nice. Uh, I think what really wins me over is the helmet. Uh, the white camo is uh, 
probably the best helmet I've seen, at least out of the XFL. Um, and I love, I just love the use of just that white space, using it for, uh, using it for camo. Why not? Uh, I also think the, the all red uniform is just clean. Uh, mm-hmm. I love when they kind of match those two colors. Uh, and I just uh, clean uniforms, beautiful helmets. Give me the defenders. All right. For my last pick here, uh, I think I'm going to go with, I've been, I've been going back and forth and I think I'm going to go with the Orlando guardians for my last pick. Something Ooh. about the, the neon green is really just catching my eye. And, Believe it or not, I actually like their white uniform concept better than the green uniform concept, I think. Um, with the dark helmet, I, I think it's just a really good, cohesive look. Uh, I'm going with the Guardians as my last pick. Guardians. Oh, now you're really putting me into a bind. I, I'm <laughs> stuck here. But I know. Oh, you know what? I'm doing it. San Antonio Brahmas. There it is. Uh, it's another one. It's the, hel- the helmet again wins me over. When they first announced, like, sh- like showed off their uniforms. Their helmets with the like the white or the yellow kind of horns. Yeah. Initially, they just kind of like just just connected in the back. Uh, but now I've been seeing pictures uh, where like the back where like those two connect is a B, uh, like just a Ooh. black B, and it. Nice. That's beautiful. Uh, I love the yellow. I uh, throw yellow on a uniform. I'm a fan. Uh, something about it just sticks out to me. Uh, it's kind of like creating a team in Madden. Uh, you get to create, pick the colors. This looks like one of those uniforms with, with a little extra spice to it. Um, I love it. Give me the Brahmas. I think the yellow is just a fantastic use. And I hope it's they give the, us. Uh, it's the Steelers fan in you. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Steelers fan in me. But I also love the like the combo, the black and black, black jersey, black pants. Um, again, you, you combo colors. I'm a fan. Um, so those are, that's my team. So unfortunately, Running down the list, uh, it looks like we've got the Zach. Zach picked the Dragons or the Sea Dragons, the Renegades, and the Guardians. While I picked the Roughnecks, the Defenders, and the Brahmas. So unfortunately, it looks like the Vipers and the Battlehawks are left to mm. left to go back to the chop. The oh chopping man, block. Uh, they they've got to they've got to figure it out. Um, gotta say though. I don't hate their uniforms. It's not like uh, the, Re- the Battle Hawks could do better. I'll, I'll admit it. Uh, I think I'm just I, disappointed. There's there's so much room for more is, is, I think, my biggest issue. Like, I don't dislike them, but there's room for more. I think the Vipers could have used a little bit more of that red. Um, and the Battle Hawks, I feel like, were kind of shoved into a corner with their color scheme. But you're right. Uh, they more More could have been used um and a little upset we don't have that but at the same time that's why they are our seventh and eighth ranked uniforms um but either way beautiful uniforms i'm excited to see these on the field uh these helmets i guess in general are all really good uh i loved your first overall pick sea dragons are by far the best ones thank you thank you all right there we have it our Players we're excited to see in our uniform draft. Hopefully, The Rock kind of takes notes, um, <laughs> <laughs> steps up the uniforms for those two teams. Uh, but if not, we're we're not going to blame them. Um, either way, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Um, it's been a lovely week. Uh, next week, we'll probably be preparing for Week One. Um, I'll yep. probably be decked out in uniform, ready to run on the field with everybody. Um, but they probably won't allow that. So I may just be doing that in this room again. Um, (laughs) Either way, we're less than two weeks away. We're amped. Uh, XFL is almost here. Um, Just got to get through the stinking Super Bowl. Um, Um, (laughs) But either way, thank you for tuning in. We are XFL Weekly coming at you weekly uh, with anything and everything XFL. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, follow, download an episode, um, anything and everything. We love to see the support. And once again, see you next week. See you.